Hello YouTube, and this is Mr. Star Wars Fan 66 and Black Card 66 here with an awesome action figure review. And today we will be reviewing the Kato Parsidi of the Clone Wars line. <laughs> I think it well it, it is no, figure number 27 in the Clone Wars line. It's really awesome. I'm really glad to get this figure. Um, been really busy, kind of waiting to do some reviews, but I guess just give us a second to unbox this guy, or girl, uh, and we'll start the review. We don't know. Okay, this is the details part of Kato Parsiti. Um, I know I'm trying not to do things, but we just decided it was time to try to figure out what Trying to best. make things cooler and yeah, easier. Cool. And, um, but one quick thing about this figure, she is kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, kind of. Um, but she she is a changeling, so it means that's a little weird about her. Um, her and hair, her head is flat. Huh? Yeah, the top of her head is like flat. It's I I don't know. I don't really in the episodes. Um, I really don't look too much on the details right. unless it really catches my eye. But um, I don't remember that in the yeah. If you if you recognized it, please let us know, or yeah. let him know in the comments, and he'll probably tell me. Right. But I, I really did expect this her visor right here to actually be a helmet kind She's of thing. She's ugly. So you, might, you might want to keep that on, because if you lose it, that's yeah. good. If you keep your figures in your room, it should be staring at you all night. It's yeah. kind of creepy. And But these her two little bug eye kind of purple things, they are like kind of transparent. The bad thing is, is you can still see him through the visor. Right. And, but, <laughs> but overall, it's a pretty cool figure. It's got um, ball-jointed ankles, ball-jointed knees, and uh, uh, just a hinge hip joint. Uh -huh. And what does that look like right there? A, um, Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> His dog is in here. <laughs> a ball-jointed elbow. And a ball jointed shoulder and ball jointed head. But what do you think about the sculpt? It's actually really good, except for the head. If if um if it's supposed yeah. to be like that, then it's good. But right. But uh, her gun is kind of weirdly shaped. It's got two peg holes, um, where you could actually put a string through to make it attachable to her back. But a uh, and she can hard, she can barely hold it. It's kind of hard. And this gun was also also featured in this action figure, the mm -hmm. Twizzer Us. I kind of pointed that out. Um, he hasn't opened his yet, but it's kind of right back. If you can maybe see that, I don't think you it's can. It's kind of back in there, but this is what it looks it's like. Kinda, yeah, that's what that's what it looks like. Just to, if you haven't got the Nikto guard yet, and if you want it, there's a little thing of his gun. If you haven't seen it at all yet. But overall, she's a kind of cool figure. This okay. Is the okay. Back of the card right there. Card. The card. I mean, uh, I like it. I was kind of anticipating it, but I thought they could have done better. Yes, they <laughs> could have done way better. That is pretty much the details part of Cato Parsidi. I'll let you read the battle, battle stats. Okay. Um, her force ability is 8. Her battle skills is 11. Pretty good. I figured they should have did more on that. Yeah. Because she could change into people and everything. Yeah. Her intelligence is 9. Pretty good. Mechanical skill is 12. Leadership is 8. And luck is 8. Okay. Not bad. She's, um, she's not very lucky, though. No. She got... Well, she got caught by a Padawan. Yeah. That's not... That's well, that's, not that's pretty much it for this review. Thanks for watching, YouTube. This is Mr. Star Wars Fan 66. And Blackheart 66. May the Force be with you. 